Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from Tumulematics. Our topic for today is trigonometric ratios and our subtopic is table of cosines. So previously we looked at the table of signs and we were able to see how you can be able to get that from the mathematical tables. So for today we will focus on table of cosines and I usually write in the same manner as we did with the cos uh, sines and tangents. But the difference with cosine is when you look at this column, we had an addition with the sines and tangents, but you can see for the cosines, we have a subtraction. The reason why this is possible, you notice that the values usually decrease uh, from one to zero. And like in the other case, you can see we start with a whole number of one and they keep on decreasing. In the case of sine, we started with zero and then it increases gradually to one. So let's look at how we read uh, cosine examples. So we, we can read 47.3 degrees Celsius, degrees, not Celsius. So 47, um, you come to 47.3 which is going to give us 0 0.6782. And then we can also read this 69.55. So you come to 69.5 uh, is here, which gives us 0 0.3502. And then the last value of five is going to be put in on the subtract column, which is you subtract eight. So you're going to subtract 0 0.0008. So you're going to borrow one from here. So 12 minus 8 gives us 4. And then this is 9, 4, 3, 0. So the answer is going to be 0 0.3494. Let's look at other examples. In the same way we had sign, we were using sign to calculate the value of x you're going to use cosine to calculate the value of y so we know the cosine of 57.6 is equals to adjacent which is y over hypotenuse which is 6 so you multiply by 6 both sides so it is 6 cos 57.6 degrees is equals to y so cos 57.6, we read that from the table, gives us 57.6, it's here, 0 0.5358, 0 0.5358, and then we multiply this by 6. So if we do uh, 0 0.5358 times 6, it gives us 3.2148. You round off to a whole number, you get three centimeters. So that's how we are able to use the table still to get an unknown value when you're going to, to calculate from the tables. Then we have also been told to find uh, from the tables whose angle, whose cosine is these values. So in previously we were looking from the angle, we get the value, but now we're starting from the answer, so we need to get the value. So we are looking for the cosine cos of a certain angle is equal to 0.1643. So we are going to get 1643 from the table. So it's down below here. So we need 1643. So we have 1685165016333. So the closest that we have is 1650 and 1643. So we can we can decide to go with 1650 and we get the subtraction or we go with 1633. If we go with 163, that is going to be 80 degrees point six. So it's going to be 0 0.1633. We subtract 0 0.1643, we are going to get a difference of 10. So we go to the difference table, we pick six, it's on so our angle is 80.66 degrees. So next is the cos of x is equal to 0 0.7196. 
So we can check that from the table. So 7196. So we have 7120, 71. So 769, 7193. So we have 7193. So we can use that one, uh, which is at 44 degrees. 44.0 degrees so we have 0 0.7193 so 0 0.7196 the difference is going to be 3 so when you go across you pick the closest difference we have 2 and 3 so you pick 2 which gives us 44.02 degrees let's do one more so if we work out 9970, you notice we do not have that in our table. Neither do we have 0 0.8860 because our table is from 44 degrees to 89. We also have other degrees from a zero, 1 degree to 44. So you can check out the last two and try to work them out on your own. In the same manner, uh, for example, if it's 0 0.99, you can do that one. And then you can finish up with 0 0.866. So you go to 99.70. So we have uh, 99.81, 99.71. And we have 99.72. We have 99.69. I'll pick the lower one. So that is 4.5. This will give us 0 0.9969. So the difference 9970 is 1. So if you move across 1, we have 0.4. And we have 0.5. We have 0.6. So we can pick any value up to 0.9. So you pick the first value, which is 4. So you have 4.54 degrees. So you can work out the last value, which is 0 0.8660. So let's work these last uh, values. So in this case, you have been given with minutes. So in the same manner, we okay. have cos 7, 9, and 42 minutes. So you convert the minutes into degrees. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. So what about 42? So it's 42 divided by 60. So when you do 42 divided by 60, we get 0 0.7. So that means we are checking 79.7 degrees on our table. So we'll come to 79. This is where 79 is. 0.7. This is 0.7, which gives us 0 0.1788. That's going to be our answer. And then we have 24.23, which is not in our, in our table. So you can be able to read that from the other table. Uh, where we have uh, lower values. Remember, this is from 44. So that's how we read uh, cosine tables. I hope you've seen the difference between cosine and sine. The difference only comes in the subtract section. For the sine, we had an, we have addition. and But the, the, the method is the same. Even when you're given uh, minutes, the, still the method is the same. So make sure you're able to practice on that. So you can check out more revision questions on the same uh, subtopic and revise on how to look for tables, uh, to look for signs and consigns of, uh, in the, in the, on the mathematical tables. You get also notes on the same subtopic. Um, so see you in the next lesson.